So at this point, the body is sewn, ladder stitch shut. The eyes are attached, but not yet arranged. The legs are sewn and then whip stitched at the end, but not attached to each other. And we're just kind of in three distinct pieces at this point. So if you want to use a glue gun instead of stitching, I recommend the dots need to go up for the eyes. Hold it up kind of where you want it. Put a little bead of hot glue. Smaller is better for back here because it will be more visible if it squishes out. And then just hold it in place till it cools. Just kind of pinch it. Once it's done, repeat it on the other eye. And that's just a fast, fairly secure way to attach these. If you think these are gonna get played with and yanked on, you probably want to do ladder stitching just to keep it more secure. But if it's just a decoration or if it's going to be for an adult, you should be fine to just hot glue it. All right, so these eyes are now attached. This one's just about cooled off. And the next thing I'll show is how to attach the legs to each other. So again, the top of these legs will not be visible once the shell is attached. So if you're going to have any sort of extra glue show up, you want it to be on top and not underneath. So here we have these three. So same as the ladder stitching, you'll run about an inch, inch and a half of glue, kind of just in a bead up here and hold them together. It's fine if the hot glue is visible on top because you won't see the top, it will be underneath the shell. And you'll hold it till it's all the way cooled. I'll just do this for one side just to kind of give you an example of how it looks. I'll just do one more. Normally I would wait till each step is cooled, but this one I'll do just a little less. And again, I'm keeping it all on the top because underneath is what you will see if you hold the shell up. So up here I'll be covered. Don't have to worry about it too much. And you'll just hold this till it's all the way cooled off. Once it is, you'll need to attach this part of leg A to the body, just like you would if you were stitching. You'll just use glue to attach it instead of stitching. Um, I'm hesitant to move on because I don't want it to, to be not quite cool yet. It's still a little tacky. Do it just one second. But while I hold that, here's the body. You want to line the legs up about an inch, inch and a half up from the back of the body. I'm going to do about an inch here. Uh, but your fabric choice will kind of determine some of that. You want the front of the claw to stick out a little bit, but not too much. So that looks good. And you need to do a little bit of this short end and then about an inch or inch and a half of this inside. And again, this is leg A, the biggest one that will be right next to the body that you're attaching with the hot glue. All right. And we'll just hold that in place. So that is how these legs and eye stalks all get attached. And you'll repeat that with the other set of legs. Um, I'm not going to do that for this video because it's the same process, just a mirror image, as you can see with these legs right here. So leg A again will be closest to the body and you'll have this cute little guy. Um, once this is all the way attached, as you can see, it's still kind of pulling away. So I can't let go quite yet. Once this is all the way attached, you can decide what shell you'd like to attach it to. Here is sort of a classic spiral shell um, that the pattern has with the plush. As you can see, there is a hollow center here. Um, so you can try to arrange it. Here, one sec, let's see if this, yeah, it's ready. You can try to arrange it so that the body kind of fills up this hole if that bothers you. Or um, you could perch it more on the edge. And it really depends on how you like the top of it to look. So I recommend kind of playing around with it I like the spiral of the shell to be kind of over the body or over one of the legs. And once you like how it looks, pin it in place. Put one pin here, one pin on the back. As you can see here, this doesn't fully fill the hole, but it does overlap it, so pin there. And then you can stitch it or lift up this little bit, put some hot glue right on the top, hold it in place. Once that is dry, lift up this part, add a little bead of glue, Hold it down until it's all the way dry. And then your, your uh, 
crab will be attached. I have another option here I'm going to use for this one, which is a real conch shell. And you could just tuck it inside, but if you want to glue it, again, just kind of glue for here, kind of on the top, press it into place until it's secure, and then you're good to go. So those are just some ways to use hot glue instead of stitching if that appeals to you. And as you can see here, this uh, straight part did come loose because I was fiddling with it while it was cooling. So I will need to reattach that. Um, once that's attached from the base, you don't see any of the hot glue. It just is pretty seamless and attached right there. And from the sides, as long as you're not too over eager with your hot glue dots, be barely visible if visible at all. So that's just an option for you.